Okay, Matt, so um, I'm training to do an Ironman and uh, know, know that a number of people who are doing uh, Ironman and doing, you know, long endurance rides. When you're actually out riding, what, you know, is the ideal sort of comp composition of the drink and the food they should be taking and how much protein um, should be in there? Because I think traditionally people just have a carb drink. So, yeah, for, for your longer distance events, like your ultra distance stuff like Ironman, it's important to get some protein in with the carbohydrate um, whilst whilst you're competing, um, and you know, that's important both for your training um, and for your actual competition day. In terms of o your overall training, then um, what you're looking to do really is prevent a br an excessive breakdown of muscle tissue. So that type of repetitive uh, endurance-based activity is very catabolic, meaning that it breaks down a lot of muscle tissue. So endurance-based athletes actually need quite a high level of protein intake at around about 1.8 grams per kilogram you know, per day. Per day, yeah. yeah. And then, and then actually, whilst you're whilst you're doing your training sessions, using amino acids throughout those training sessions will have a number of beneficial effects. If you if you're if you're training in a depleted state, then they're essential because you you, you need them for mental. Uh, energy and also to protect your muscle mass. So things like branch chains and tyrosine are really good, just just so you can handle the you know the longer sessions and and you don't completely run out of energy. You, but what your body does is it converts the aminos into glucose, um, and then and then you'll have a, you'll have good effects on on if you take branch chains like before high intensity extended exercise session, you mentally perform better in tasks after that session. So you're not going to like fall asleep on the settee or not be able to play with the kids. You know, you still be able to or handle a long day at work. A lot of triathletes get up very early in the morning, do blocks of training, and then they go to work. So taking things like branch chains with the carbohydrate type drinks it can really help them. So you take the branch chains rather than just whey protein or something like that. Well, whey protein would be a is a, is like a poor man's branch chain, right? Because it's it's 25% branch chain aminos. So you could also use a whey, uh, type of whey protein, and you, you get you know you get some other aminos in there as well. Right. But the, the the key thing is not to make a drink which is too thick. So still stick to a drink which is, you know, somewhere between six and ten percent solution. Um, depending on what what you're actually doing, you can take a higher a higher concentrated solution when you're on the bike than when you're running, for example. And also the concentration will depend a lot on the. Uh, environmental factors like mm -hmm. humidity, temperature, and things like that. So, you know. So six six percent. That's like sixty grams of sugar or protein branch chains per liter. Per liter, yeah. yeah. And the emphasis would still be on your carbs, but not not exclusively at the detriment to any protein at all. So you might be looking at, at including you know ten to fifteen grams of of, of protein based whey protein or branch chains or essentials or, or tyrosine or, or a special mix of those things within that 60 grams per litre yeah and, you, and you, you know you can tinker around and tailor that to your needs and what what you know your preferences are and the particular goals you got for that session okay and then what you also mentioned something before when we we're talking about the immune benefits as well oh yeah so so your glutamine reserves prolonged and intensive training will deplete glutamine reserves so using uh, um, things like glutamine and branch chains will help pr protect those reserves, which will have a beneficial effect on, on recovery and immune status. Yeah, so you, the only thing with the glutamine you've got to watch is don't mix it in a long time before you take your drink, because it can, it, it can, over a few hours it can degrade quite quickly. Um, so it's best to you know, make it quite fresh and, and get it down, or just include plenty of glutamine in your, in your post uh, training recovery drink. Yeah. Perfect.